What's going on, fellas? How the hell are you? This is Islander. Welcome back to the island. All right, guys, just jumping into the game real quick. So we're going to get all these little pop-ups coming in at me, uh, trying to sell me this, sell me that. But we're not here for that today, all right? Today, we're bringing you just a little bit of a news brief, all right? We got something new coming down the pipe. Uh, we have been expecting a new Titan or new weapons, and they have arrived, all right? So we're going to jump over there. We're going to talk about the test server a little bit. Uh, go over things. I'm going to give you my feedback in the comment section. Y'all going to give me your feedback on it, all right? So let's go ahead and not waste too much time on that. Let's jump over there. And we'll talk about the test server coming up and what we got coming in. We have a new alpha weapon, all right? But we'll cover that in a minute. Uh, the atomizer, no changes, uh, just as last time, okay? So we can go ahead and gauge that the numbers that they have on the atomizer is going to stay where it's at. Uh, there may be... A few tweaks here and there between uh, the testing and the live server, but they're pretty much set on their numbers. Those guns are going to be powerful, guys. They're not all that at level 8. We don't get to test things out at MK212 with all the trimmings, okay? So things is things or numbers will change on those atomizers once we level them up. We're going to find out exactly how powerful they can become. I got a bad feeling, all right, that uh, they're going to be the new meta weapon. Uh, due to the fact that they have unlimited ammo, if you're at point blank range, you're going to be a happy camper once you have these things and you're firing on some fat targets, okay? Uh, Pulsar, Shredder, uh, Ven Ven Vengeance, Retaliator, Viper, uh, Visual Effects, and Optimization, uh, Still Uncertain, Titan, Scourge, Cataclysm, all right? So we're going to take a look at that in the middle, in a minute. Uh, let's see, but let's go ahead and go over the numbers real quick. The Atomizer. Uh, 720 uh, damage per shot, intervals of uh, 0 0.1 seconds, endless ammo. So we know all about that already. Uh, the new alpha weapon, all right? And I was clear on my predictions early as far as what we're going to get as far as weapons. I, I was guessing a scourge, a shotgun, or possibly even a redeemer style weapon, all right? Uh, it is going to be the scourge for the first new alpha weapon. Uh, so I'm one, one out of one right now. The next one I'm guessing will be either the shotgun or some type of a brawling weapon because we don't have one of those in the game. This will be a 600 meter gun. So it's going to be just like the Dragoons. All right. You're looking at uh, 220 reload of 10 seconds damage 4,300 per interval. Okay. So that you're looking at slightly over 900,000 damage before you add modules or anything else to it so those numbers could go way up as well remember this is going to be a certain level we're going to be testing it's not going to be maxed out let's go take a look at that bad boy real quick and that's going to be it all right kind of looks like a dual stacked up uh version of the uh, calamity so it's going to dish out a lot of power uh, this is one of the reasons why I did not spend any of my platinum, why I decided to go ahead and wait things out to see how things would unfold. So, guys, y'all let me know. What do you think? Uh, it's going to be a new style of weapon that we're going to be having. Uh, I'm curious as to what it's going to do. We'll find out on the test server, okay? But the test server is not going to give us the two tests. The two tests will come out once we bring it in and you see players start maxing it up. Those of y'all that have already maxed out weapons uh, on the Titans, I feel for you. Uh, I wish some people would have waited. We knew something like this was coming down the pipe. Uh, the reload time, though, of 10 seconds, that's that's something to be wary about. Okay, you're going to have to, in a Titan, 10 seconds is a very long time to go try find cover, right? But in return, you're going to dish out an insane amount of damage. Now, how strong are those going to be against the particular... Uh, Titan of, of the Arthur and, and how long will it uh, take to break that shield we'll find out all right we're gonna bring uh, Killbot and the boys back in and we'll be testing that out for you guys all right so in the meantime guys we've discussed that that's what we got going down in the WR uh, we will be on this weekest test server I will test it out I will be bringing you videos this week all right and that's primarily what we're gonna be testing not so much the the, the atomizer because we've already gone through that we want to see this new big bad boy that's gonna be coming Eventually to the live server, you can count on it, all right? The next scary weapon that I do predict will come will be the shotguns. That will be a closer, maybe 500 range at max. But when you get somebody trying to creep up on a Titan and he's going to turn around and fire gigantic shotguns at you, that's going to be painful. Very, very painful. But uh, let's see what, what they decide to come up with next. We should get at least one more weapon. 
and we know we got two Titans coming up. Now the Titans, what are they going to have? Each one has some type of special ability. Uh, a scary Titan to me would be any Titan that has quantum radar. That would totally negate any of the stealth bots that we have. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. Hopefully, they do not add anything like that to, to the Titans. I don't think they need that type of uh, ability. Okay? There's so many other abilities they could choose from to go with. Uh, Quantum Radar would be the scariest one out of all of them. As of right now, guys, let's go ahead and jump into a game real quick. See if we can find Dope Kid. Dope Kid and I have been trading punches back and forth. Uh, he should be on about this time. We knew... Uh, yesterday he beat up on my nephew and then he beat up on me later on in the day. So I'm going to go out and hunt him back down. I'm trying to get a little bit of pay payback on him. And we found an early match right off the bat. Ah, I got the wrong. All right, well, we probably won't use him. I'm supposed to have my, my speed bond there and I got the other leech. Peel off. Okay, I want these two guys to engage a little bit. Okay, now enemy number one's gonna, he's just waiting. He, he's buying his time back there. He's waiting to, to jump in on this fight. Okay, he's picked another fight. And we're already killing. Oh, no, we're not. Two more seconds. Okay, we got him there. And we're still pretty healthy with our last stand. Let's come over here and see if we can pick up some of this. It was good action. I wish I would have had my Phantom. Okay, we're going to put each other in last stand. We got to chase. We got to chase. We got him, but we're going to get eaten from behind. Oh, here goes his health. Oh, oh. Pull left, pull left. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, the Deathwing in. Secondary bot. And we're going to start redirecting some of this traffic back towards us. Everything's fading towards the, the, the front end of the map. I gotta start picking up targets as they come in, like right here. Or this one. Okay, we gotta get over there. He's up. Don't steal it. Ah, you little worm. He has me in last stand already, so I got problems. I gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up. Ah, uh, look at this guy waiting in the background. He's just waiting. So we're not gonna put him in last stand. We're gonna let this guy do a little bit of work for us as well. Nope. Well redirected, well played. All right. Let's do this one more time. And this is the problem. We got to redirect some of this traffic. Everybody's fading, fading to, to the back end of the map. Just let's see if we have anybody. Okay, here, let's see where this guy comes in. Where's he at? Ah, destroyed himself. All right, they're both up. And I took too early of a flight. He's gonna, he's gonna sacrifice the kill here. Yeah, yes, he he's gonna sacrifice the kill that guy to keep me from getting it. Well played. If he has a quantum, we'll wait for it. No, he does not. So 
we're going to see if we can redirect over here. We're going to let him burn all his ammo. Uh oh. No, nice. <clears throat> okay, he's he just keeping the, that, that one shot right in front of me. Okay, we're in a pickle. This guy's gonna keep flowing. We have to get away. So we, we we need our. Don't see it! Don't see it! Don't see it! Don't see it! There it is. Still sitting in second place. Okay, let's draw him back. And redirect. Oh my gosh. Nice. All right, there we go. We got first place, but he got, he's gonna be able to run me down. We're going to have to play this really, really smart and try to chew him down in the last stand. If I can get him down to the last stand, then I'll go ahead and sacrifice the kill. But I won't do it before that. So our next exit point has got to be back over there somewhere or back over here to the side. There it goes. We got to do it again. Gonna have to go down fast if he starts shooting me. There it is. He got me. All right, well played. Uh, let's go ahead and get our shotguns in now we gotta now we gotta be the one chasing so I'm more than happy to trade punches with him here And we'll wait him out. Get a couple of shots in. He also put me in last stand. There it is. He has the last stand, I have none. We have to outrun him. There it is. Ah, I need to get him last stand. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in the death wing. And right, we got a minute 15. Let's see if we can get this in. He's probably going to start pulling back, and that's smart of him. This is a really good, well-played match.
Yep, he's pulling back now. We don't got time to waste. We're gonna have to engage. Fifteen seconds. Yeah, I think he's got it. Okay, we got him last stand. He'll hold that last stand for four seconds. Well played. Oh, almost had him there. <laughs> All right, good job. Let's go ahead and see who we're up against. Uh, give him props for the well played victory. Let's go ahead and claim this real quick. And with that, we're going to pull a 2.9 with a 1.6 on the silver. Eight kills. Uh, let's go check our competitor. And it was not Dope Kid, all right? Although he had a very similar play style. Uh, it was Peru Ivan Vic, uh, I guess Vic, 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 something like that, all right? Uh, he pulled nine kills with two million on the damage. All right, so if anything, plus out of here, uh, we took the brunt of the gold. But we're going to go ahead and give him a shout out. He played it very, very well. Uh, we got him on the damage, he got us on the kills, and he does take the first place. Props, my friend. All right, guys, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Oh, let's see what we got. Let's go to the menu operation. All right, what do you got? What do you got? And we picked up some gold. All right, we're going to take this chunk of gold, pull us over 21,000 in the gold. Nice. So we're just trucking along as far as that's concerned. All right, as I was saying, uh, in the comment section, y'all give me your, your feedback. Uh, what we got coming up this weekend's test server and uh, y'all go ahead and coach me on my free-for-all there Call out my military blunders. Where did I make my mistakes? I'm gonna have to go back and watch this video. I love seeing uh, When I do lose it, it helps me put me back in my place uh, You know Nobody in this game is undefeated. I when I do take a loss I do go back and study those videos over and over again to see what I could have done different to help me improve my game so y'all go ahead and call out my military blunders and give me your feedback, all right? Guys, if you're new to this channel, hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the stuff we're going to have coming up. And if you did like this video, guys, knock the hell out of the like. I really do appreciate it, and it does help me out. And until we talk again, boys and girls, which will be this weekend, this is Islander signing out.